All right, hello everyone, and welcome back to Europa Universalis 4, where we are, of course, still playing as the glorious Amalfi Empire. And today, well, uh, you may notice that the date is back to November 11th of 1444, and I'm uh, pretty much considering today's episode, episode 1.5, because, well, frankly, I broke the game last episode. <laughs> uh, remember when I was going over all the changes I had made, and one of them, of course, was integrating Portugal. Now, I, I had never converted over a save file before, so I was kind of bouncing back and forth between console commands here in the game and then exiting out to mess with a save game editor. And somewhere along the ramshackle order of operations that I was using, it glitched with the integration of Portugal, and we of course still had Portugal showing in here as a vassal. That appears to have broken the game, and my save file couldn't open because effectively it was corrupted when I went to open it today. So I had to revert back to the original save file from the conversion from a CK2, and made all those changes again, but did it in a smarter way, basically doing certain things at certain steps, and uh, that seems to have worked. Uh, Portugal did get integrated and isn't in here anymore, so I, I think we're fine. Now, I tried to make the same adjustments as well that we were doing in the last episode. For instance, I took the... Not the same, but a similar mission to improve relations. It just didn't have the country that we did last time. I've already moved my ships into trading routes. I have this army currently heading towards Amalfitan, Africa. And I actually, you'll notice I have a lot less money today because I did run through and build a lot more things in the world. Uh, we built a number of places for taxation. Uh, why am I suddenly forgetting the name of the thing? Church! <laughs> and also a number of marketplaces as well at my top trading areas. So we have spent a sizable amount of money on that. And I also did create some states. It still, of course, really doesn't help because I have basically way too many provinces that need to be put into states. I don't have enough states available. So, <laughs> and one thing I did change though, uh, and kind of off of your guys's comments, is I dropped our Republican tradition all the way down to zero. Now, I'd been going back and forth on what to do with Amalfi for, well, basically ever since the, we finished the last game in Crusader Kings 2. And I really want the Morrow family to continue, and a lot of you guys in the comments seem to as well. And I, I was hoping to do it in some manner in the conversion, but unfortunately I wasn't able to. And our current ruler, well, he ain't gonna live until our Republican tradition came down naturally. So... I dropped it down to zero so that we should get the uh, Republican dictatorship event to pop here pretty quickly. And we're going to be a Republican dictatorship. I'm going that route. I was tempted to try and find a way to change the government to an oligarchic uh, republic, but I couldn't find a way to do do that. I, I tried editing the save file. That didn't work. That corrupted the save file again. I tried using console commands. That definitely didn't work. I found a console command that was supposed to work. You know, doing this, set government equals that, but it gives me an error every time I try. So I went with just the root of um, Republican dictatorship. It seems the best way. Now that means we're of course going to become a monarchy, uh, but I'm actually okay with that. I tested it really quickly off camera and our money, because that was the big thing I was worried about, losing all the cash uh, from going from a merchant republic to a monarchy, or at least the, uh, well, first the uh, Republican dictatorship. And we did lose money going to the Republican dictatorship, but not by much. 
<laughs> so I think it went from this 19 down to 15, which I'm okay with that. We're still making a good amount of money, and we have a crap load of cash up here. So I think we're going to be okay. And yeah, I'm, I'm happy with that decision. That means the Maros will hopefully continue to rule for many years to come. So let's uh, unpause the game, get it moving again in this episode 1.5, and uh, see how things go. I should probably actually kick it up to time two for now. So you, you should be getting into that boat. Please go well. I need you to move so we can go and kill these people. They are, unfortunately, going to take this county or province or whatever the crap it's called in this game. Rise of a despot! Yes! Long live Bass Lake! <laughs> ah, that's the event I was hoping for there. So it only took a couple of weeks. Lovely. So the lack of respect for the Republic has slowly eroded its foundation. Over the hundreds of years, my family has been bribing everyone. To preserve the stability of the state, Great Doge of Bass Lake has proclaimed himself dictator for life. Long live Bass Lake! Yes. Oh, hey, that cotton import thing again. Which, ha <laughs> I'm kind of, I, I really should take the idea that I did last time. Um, actually, no. Hold on a moment. One of you guys in the comments said that the option that I took w made it so that I lost that uh, trade power forever, but that only seems to go until 1821. Oh, 18. That's, 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 that is, yes, the game. Never mind. It took me a second to uh, <laughs> process the year in my head. Yeah, I really should take. Oh, God, but that one's till 1821 as well. Hmm. Yeah, uh, yeah, but this one actually still seems better now that I'm thinking about things. All right, we'll go with this one. We will not restrict free trade. Oh boy, I don't know if that was any better of an option, but it was taken, and apparently we're trading in copper. Why aren't you in the boats already? You've been walking for months. Are you? Can, you see? Yeah, the rebels were successful. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. Did, is it because it's... it's... <sighs> Any more transports? Are you the... Oh my god, are you the... No, you're the other thing. Where's my other fleet? Where's my other fleet? I had a third fleet with transports. What happened to it? Oh god, it was this one. Oh, and that's still maybe not enough transports. You know what? You... You... Stop. You've been going for way too long. I'm just going to grab... Well, clearly all of you. Well, no, not all of you. Most of you. Okay. And then... Doop, 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 doop. Ah, damn it! Oh, well, we'll still go. Cavalry... How many, how many boats do I have here? 30. <sighs> Recombine. <laughs> I'll go 15 on you. And yeah, 7 on you. Select unit! You take the freaking boats! Yes, go! Did you load on the boats? Yes, they left. I didn't have enough boats before. Oh, God. You're the ones that were raining, huh? Well, you stay there now. Go guard the capital. You! Other crappier, smaller fleet. Why are you sitting there? Go here. All right. Well. Oh, hello. We have a thing. A request for military access from Mosai. Oh, God. Also, what's this? Estates demand control of pro... Oh, estates. I'm losing money now. Oh, the boats. The boats. The fleet. Yeah, the fleet. Ooh, hey. Hmm. Money went down actually a lot more in this than in my test case. Interesting. Well, we still have a crap lot of cash, so... Hmm. Wow, we really did drop down a lot more when I just... Like I said, when I did the test, it was only like... We went from 19 to 15. 
Is it because suddenly the, the maintenance? I don't I don't know. I don't remember what the maintenance was earlier. I'm gonna ride it out though. I'm gonna well, I'm gonna pop it. Wow. <laughs> How did that change so much? I mean, I know merch. Oh boy, maybe Merchant Republic was a better idea to stick with. Oh, I may have made a mistake. <laughs> hmm. I am also a whole. Well, you know what? I'm gonna roll with it for right now. I've got cash to buy me time. I think it's partially because I do have a crap load of armies sitting around in the world, and I. Hmm. I'm wondering if I should get rid of some of them, but at the same time, I don't really want to lose glorious, glorious vessels. Well, for right now, I'll let it let it slide at the moment. Oh yes, the Mosai thing. Who are you? Ah, you're one of these folks down here. Who are, who are, who are you? You're you? Are you at war with someone? Well, you're not at war with anyone. Uh, I'm gonna say no. No. Bad Mosai. I'm going to conquer you. <laughs> I will take you all. I just need to solve this whole issue down here first. Alright. Uh, new rivalry. Mongolia has announced Feyreika as their. <laughs> oh, bless. Yeah, oh god, we suffered casualties. Um, larger army. You! Down here. Go kill. 14,000, 16,000. I probably should have you go too. Oh god, do I also have any boats on this side of the ocean? I really don't, do I? Huh. There are many other things I did not take into account here. Ah, uh, you know what? Both of you... Three armies? Why are there three? I'm gonna not select you. You guys go down here. Go to there to prepare. Yeah, go to there to prepare. Yeah, there's good. Alright, okay. Yeah, the money situation actually really worries me now. <laughs> uh, one thing I definitely need to do is I'm going to split out all of my carrots. You, all of you. Go, I'm going to pop you all in Nopoli. You as well, you guys. Select a unit to go here. You! Go join with the other cogs. Go park yourself. And I'm gonna mothball those ships. Yeah, mothball. Well, I'll wait until they're all over there. So that'll save us some cash. Yeah, that money. Hmm. <laughs> I may need to go and build many more tax things to increase money. And maybe good. Oh, God, I also completely forgot about the estates thing again. Hi, you. Oh, boy. Hi. Um, well, they own no land. So, clergy and the nobility both want land. I want a lot of land. <laughs> oh boy, I forgot about dealing with estates. Uh, I can also make another state. Uh, oh boy, I don't have to look at that off camera because there was one state that I actually wanted to create that would make me some extra cash. But now I'm trying to figure out where to put these estates. Oh boy, all right, uh, I need to finish this. Let's go, I'll worry about the estates later. For now, I need to kill these fools. Let's actually put you all the way up. What is this? 
Scotland declared, declared war on England. Cool. Good for them. Yeah, I'm actually quite worried about that balance issue now. <laughs> I may not have thought this through. Well, yeah, I did think it through. I just didn't realize it would drop us that much. Like I said, when I did the test, it only dropped me a little, but I didn't go very far. I really did only, like, go a couple of days as that new republic. Well, time to destroy. Do I have any leaders? I don't have any leaders. I also don't feel like buying leaders right now. Do not combine you guys at the moment? Nope, oh, they're already engaged. Okay, fine. Okay. Again, though, we have a good buffer for now, money-wise. And, ooh, we're actually suffering some serious damage there. Hi, hi. Oh, thank crap, we're still gonna win. Wars are being declared around the place. Good, we won, yay. All right, split in two. You go there. Actually, combine. Then, split. That was not an equal split. How does split in half mean 9,000 and 14,000? <laughs> fine, fine. I'll stick with that, you bastards. Oh boy, we have a lot of provincial unrest. Uh, well, actually, our unrest is well. Uh, it's... Hmm. Well, that's... Negative is good, right? We. The stability lowers unrest. That's what we want. <laughs> it's negative unrest. <laughs> oh god, it's been so long since I played this game. Alright, let's just move that. Finish up those things. Uh whew. you know what? I think I might declare war on Scotland since they're at war with the English. You don't have any friends, do you? I want your land. <laughs> Uh, which one's the alliance thing? They have a va they have Fez as a vassal. <laughs> oh, how cute! Conquest cast a spell. I they're doing independence. Uh, military access. Military access. Proving relation. Yeah, they don't have any alliances. They just have Fez. And I have multiple armies that are kind of just sitting around them. <laughs> Uh, you. Start marching over here. Yes. Yes. You, start marching here. You! Go and prepare yourself here. Actually, go there. Where are my other armies? I have an army there. Also, where's my... Didn't I send... Where's my big fleet of... Cogs. Holy crap! I told you to go here, you bastards! Go to Napoli! Also, Cogs, I want you to go... Cogs. No. You. When you go to... Well, no, we'll keep a... We'll keep an army there. Oh my god, I have a lot of soldiers up here, too. Yeah, maybe I just need a... Oh god, I have a lot of soldiers up here, too! Also, when did I get land here? Huh. Cool. <laughs> I didn't realize it. Oh, no, I actually do remember having... I remember having one county up here in Crusader Kings. I must have had another. Huh. All right. That's awesome. Yeah, I do have a gigantically large army. Um, Cogs, pick up this dude. Attached to transports. Go here. Yes. Alright, on pause. Yeah, we're gonna attack Scotland. It's gonna be fun. <laughs> I will take land. Do I have any armies down here? A 1,000 stack. Really? Just a thousand? Because he's got... He has things. I want the things. Hmm. I have a surprisingly large number of forts down here. Good times. Good times. Molly, I want your gold. Wait, oh no, you don't have gold. You have, yeah, you've got ivory. 
Also, thank you to the uh, commenters who just corrected me on the goal that it doesn't actually have trade value. It just makes us cash. I completely forgot about that. Hey, we got back a thing. Yay. I should probably keep one of you here. Go. Oh, what's this? Oh, we won back the things. You stay here. You uh, march up this way. Go here. Oh, buildings. Yes, buildings. Um. You know, keep moving. Keep moving. How's these? How's my army movement over here? Good. Good. All right. Time to declare war. <laughs> declare war on Scotland. I have multiple things. I could take the core. Tadrini. What the hell is that one? Is that down here? He doesn't have many things. No. Tadrini. What the hell's Tadrini? I don't want to take Tadrini if it's up here somewhere. Okay, I'm going to have to use the fine thing. So I have no idea where this one is. So, Tau Denny. Oh, it is down here. What? I'm. What? Hold on a moment. <laughs> I need to investigate this. Why is it coming up as a take that? I have that. Oh, God. Is this some other part of. The conversion that went wonky. It may be another part of the conversion that went wonky. Well, uh, <laughs> not sure what to do with that. We'll make the we'll make it to take Timbuktu then, and we'll conquer this stuff so we don't have that. Yeah. Yeah. Unfortunately, that means I'm gonna have to move one of my armies down here. Yep, yeah, we're gonna do Timbuktu. There we go. To war! <laughs> Perfect. Perfect. You and you and you. You. Combine. Murder. <laughs> You're a thousand stack, but, um, I mean. Timbuktu. <laughs> I may have to create some more soldiers down here. Ah. Uh, just some ch uh, mercenaries. No. Yeah, you. Is a thousand too little? I I don't remember this game's mechanics. Can do we do we need more than a thousand to siege Timbuktu? As if so, I'll send another. I am coming to pick up uh, this army here, so actually. You! Combine! Uh, in! Oh, I should actually probably have you protected by ships right now. Okay, okay, yep. You have boats! You have boats! Ooh, ooh, no, 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 he's gonna get crushed. Crap. <laughs> I didn't even think about the boats. Damn you, Scotland. Crap. <laughs> all right, all right, well, I'm gonna lose those boats. Damn. Okay, fine. Let's unpause. <laughs> Yeah, it's going to be unfortunate. Run away, you fools! <laughs> Run away! Sverank and Norgart War. Did... <gasps> English ships join the fray! Yes, England, I love you! We won. My god, we won. <laughs> Oh, we lost two of our ships. Go to Lisbona. And, uh, yeah, I need more boats. Mm, barks. Ooh. 
Yeah, I'm gonna need at least five. There we go. All right, you're at war now. Good, good, good. All right. Come on, you. Oh, you're already there. You're already there. All the ships that I wanted. Uh, yeah, closest I can get is here. Yeah, let's drop them there. And we'll march down with we'll march down with that army to Timbuktu. Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> uh, we've occupied a thing. Lovely. Are you you're Fez. Cool. Alright. We've taken another thing. Hey, why did it bring me over here? I really should have read that. I didn't see what happened. <laughs> well, we have a thing. We've occupied land. But Fez. Alright. So you you guys are in a battle, you'll win. Oh, I have things. Oh, they want military access. That's the thing that popped over there. Uh Where are you going? Who are you fighting? You, where are you? Oh. Uh, they're at war with the Serenids. Who are you fighting? I'm assuming same. Sa you know what? Screw them Serenids. <laughs> hey, where even are the Serenids? Oh, Samarids. Samarid. It. You know what? No. I refuse to let any of you through my empire. Tis my land, you fools. Tis my land. Man, I got a lot of troops up there. I should invade someone else. You! Denmark! I could declare war on you. I have no Cassus Belli. <laughs> eh, I'd rather have a Cassus Belli on someone to declare war. Ooh, I have a, I have a claim on that, apparently. No. Oh god, I have a 1,000 stack here too. Where I need to really make account of where all my armies are. <laughs> I have a lot that I don't realize. Oh, I don't care about that one right now though. No, unpause. Why, why, why was I paused that whole time? Yes, yes, siege the enemy. How, are we? Oh my god, we actually did take Timbuktu with this tiny little force. You aren't going to be able to take a castle though. Uh, da, da, da. Oh, you may with their help. Beautiful. Beautiful. Uh, let's see. Are they out of boats? You know what? Go here. And we're going to, you know, blockade. I think, I think Scotland's out of boats. Either that or they're all up here. An occupation. Yay! Yeah, holy crap. Uh, that one's gonna take a while. What is this? No. Alright, you keep doing you over there with that really slow... Oh, it's because it's a, it's a castle. That's gonna take us a while. We're, uh, we're doing well, though. We're doing well. The Colonial War for Timbuktu. I have the war claim! So, yay. Denmark declared war against Norg. Cool. You know what? Probably good to actually have some armies down here anyways. I want Molly. <laughs> yeah, I should move some more of my armies down here and, you know, just start conquering all of this. I have plenty of armies for it, so, I mean... Should be good. Holy crap, this is gonna take forever. <laughs> Uh What is this? Nope. <laughs> I'm stopping all the wars by not letting anyone roll through my territory. Actually, you know what? You start actually marching down here. I am, yeah, I'm gonna go on a big war path down here, I think. 
So start moving down this way. Nope. Go away, Denmark. I don't care about you. You got good stuff. Could I go to war with you? I could. Oh, I don't have a cast of spell eye. I would lose. Yay, we got a thing. We also occupied a place. We also pause and we're at the half hour mark here, but uh, you move here. And well, let's just look at this real quick. Anything fun? Conquer Bosnia. Where's Bosnia in this really screwed up world? I don't know. I'll have to find it. But that's going to be it for today, folks. I hope you all have enjoyed and that you do come back for the next episode when we're going to continue our war against Scotland and I'm going to try and find Bosnia in here somewhere. But until then, thank you for watching and as always, have a good one.